Alright, welcome to my tutorial series on how to use some of the features in Windows 7. Now, before I begin, I have to put up a disclaimer. I want to very clearly and very strongly state to everybody watching that everything I'm doing in all these tutorials and everything I'm showing you is being done on Windows 7 32-bit. Now, this stuff should work in Windows 7 64-bit, but I can't be guaranteed that. Now, any attempt to use this on anything, uh, any other operating system other than Windows 7, such as Vista, XP, or Linux, I am, you use at your own risk and own will, and I am not held responsible should something happen to your computer and or operating system. So again, I am using this on Windows, 30, uh, Windows 7 32-bit, and it should work on Windows 7 64-bit, but I can't be guaranteed that. Alright, so that being said, um, the reason I put this video first is because the feature I'm going to show you how to gain access to in this video is not only extremely useful, but it's the one I'm probably going to be using throughout most of the tutorials in this. And the feature I'm going to be explaining to you and showing you how to use and gain access to is what I call the master control panel. Now, some people call it God mode, but regardless, regardless of what you call it, it still is basically one major control panel. Now, before I get into what it actually does, I'm going to explain that every time you want to change something in your computer, such as you want to change your user account settings, or you want to go to internet options, or you want to add or remove a program, there's a whole series of menus you have to go through, and sometimes it can be kind of difficult navigating to where that is if you're not familiar with the outline of it. So let's say I wanted to go to internet options. The normal procedure for doing this would be to go to start menu, then the control panel, then to network and internet, and then you'd have to go to internet options to bring it up. And let's say you didn't want to go there, have to continue going through that process, you'd normally just make a shortcut on it, your desktop by right clicking on it, going to create shortcut, then closing it. Now it's where you want it, every time you want to open it, you just have to double click it. And again, the same thing, the same procedure, if let's say you wanted to change your user account control or something in your user account settings the same procedure would follow. You'd have to go to Start Menu, then go to the Control Panel, then go to User Accounts and Family, and then you go to User Accounts, and then you'd have to go to another menu. It's just, it's totally ridiculous. And you, if you wanted, let's say, for some weird reason, you wanted to know how many things are in there, you'd have to go one, two, three, four, count. It's like ridiculous, that. So, anyway, that gets annoying. I'm pretty sure everybody knows that. Well, I'm about to make your life a whole hell of a lot easier. By showing you the master control panel, it's kind of a hidden option that a lot of people don't know about. So I'm going to show you how to how to actually act, gain access to that, so you don't have to worry about ever having to navigate through that many problems or not knowing where you're navigating. All right, what the master control panel does is it brings up every option that you can change in your computer on one page so you don't have to continue navigating through menu after menu. And this is how you actually do this. It's a code it's a code line and it's pretty extensive, but don't worry about trying to remember or to type it. Over on the right side of this video, you're going to find the code under more information. So all you have to do is copy in copy the code and paste it the exact same way I'm going to show you how to do it now. Really easy. Now I already have the code copied, so it's in my mouse memory, but again, don't worry, the code's going to be over to you right on under more information over to the uh, on the right side of this video. So here is how you um, create a master control panel with this code on anywhere on your desktop doesn't matter. You right click, you go to new, and you create a new folder. Simple as that. Now you paste this code into where the folder needs a name because it says new folder. So what you do is you paste the code into the folder. And as you can see, it actually is pretty extensive. Again, I call it the master control panel. You can name it what you want, but I suggest you just leave it as it is. All right. Now, when you copy and paste the code over on the right side, you're going to copy all of this. You're going to start with the M and just copy the entire thing all the way to the last bracket. Okay, it's very important that you copy this exactly as it is. Now, once you get this pasted into a folder, all you have to do 
is click off to the side and as you can see it now turns into a master control panel now again I'm just going to give you a quick recap of how to get you all right internet options you again would have to go to start menu then go to the control panel then go to network and internet settings and then internet options now let me show you why this is so easy and so good all you have to do is double click the master control panel and as you can see now everything that you can change from your computer is all right in front of you from one screen there are so many options in here to change now what's co cool about this too is let's say I wanted to go change my internet options rather than have to go through the menu all I have to do is double click the master control panel scroll down because it's in alphabetical order go to internet options and as you can see I can click any one of these these windows expand and collapse just by clicking that small triangle in the corner as you can see there's 14 there's actually 14 internet options and they're all easy to understand so let's say you wanted to um, change security settings you just double click one of these options and off it pops up so there are your internet properties right in front of you real easy so again now you don't have to worry about navigating to folder after folder after folder after folder and sometimes getting lost if you're not familiar with it so that is a master control panel that is how you access it again the code is off to the side on the, uh, under more information on this video so you don't have to worry about anything and again when you uh, copy it you want to copy it from the M all the way to the last bracket I'm sorry I'm stressing this but this is really important because if you miss it it's if you miss one of these things if you miss a bracket if you miss a letter a dash anything it's not going to work right so again be very make sure you copy everything from left or right over that's on the right side of the video and again you just go make a new folder on your desktop and then you rename it I'm sorry I'm a little I'm I'm actually stating ahead of myself so it's not that the video is behind so anyway you go to you make a new folder and then you just paste it in as the name and now you have your master control panel with everything in it and again all these windows will collapse all these windows can collapse and as you can see there's a mess of options in here again some people won't find this helpful some people will find this completely useless I think it's awesome but I figured at least I'd share it with you so now you know all right there's the first instructional video and now in the second instructional video I'm gonna um, go over Internet Explorer um, how to enable it disable it um, give some myths about you know what's broken in Internet Explorer if anything compare it to Google Chrome and um, Mozilla Firefox so stick around for that and I'll um, talk to you in a minute or I'll talk to you in the next video all right take care